Hi, I'm a day late and a dollar short, but uh, this is Kevin Raver and I'm back with one of my daily rants and I apologize for not getting uh, this up on Friday like I had planned um, due to a lot of technical difficulties as well as some things around the house like vacuuming and mopping and so forth and an appointment with a person from Bron Color. Uh, I ran out of hours. Don't worry. This is all new and I'm going to work it all out so that things work just the way they're supposed to. But today, I want to have a brief chat with you about having camera with you all the time. It's important because since I was about 18 years old, actually before that when I was in high school, I always had a camera. These days, a lot of us consider the fact that we have our iPhones with us, that we have our camera with us. And you know, these days that can be true with the ability to shoot 48 megapixel RAWs with our iPhone and all how often I end up taking my iPhone out. I'm sure maybe you do too to take pictures. It's pretty good But I do have what I call my grab-and-go camera and I've got a lot of cameras um, <laughs> I'll have another little talk sometime about my gear acquisition uh, Syndrome issues and what I'm doing to cure those but today I want to talk about what's in this bag and uh, this is my go-to grab bag You can see it's pretty small um, It's a, a Domkey bag uh, links will be on the uh, video down below and on the article, but as you open it up You have a bag and it's zippered which is nice Outer pocket which I keep business cards And a couple spare batteries, but inside this bag Is the Fuji X100V this camera I I just love this is my camera. This is my go-to camera this is the camera I take if I'm going out to dinner, if I'm going to a little concert, if I'm going to a social event, and it's unbelievable. Now, I did have the Fuji X-Pro3, and I've had all the 100 since they first came out. Um, this is the camera that just works. It's got an electronic rangefinder. It's got an optical rangefinder. I have it souped up with a little thumb rest on the back there so I can uh, grab it quickly. It, it It's a beautiful camera. It's an analog kind of feel. You've got all these dials that uh, work just well. Uh, you can put a soft shutter release on here. It's a fixed lens, which is rather thin, as you can see. And it's got f-stop clicks, so I can click to my f-stop, I can click to my shutter speeds, and I can click to my ISO. Now this is just works for me. Um, I have this camera set up so that it has the uh, Peak Design strap, but I also carry with me a wrist strap, which means I can just unclick one of these straps here. And they have these lugs on them. And then I can just clip my wrist strap on like that and, and go. And sometimes it's just more handy to have the, the wrist strap when I'm just walking around wanting to shoot pictures. It's fast, it's quiet. There's an electronic shutter in here so it can be completely silent. I can do videos with it. There's a 23 millimeter F2 lens. Uh, now this is an APS-C sensor, so uh, it, it works a little differently. But one of the cool things about this camera is it's got uh, film simulations. Now, I'll have another chat somewhere along the line about all these people going back to analog cameras, but I like the film simulations in this camera, meaning I can simulate anything I want as far as film goes. I also have that in my software so that if I shoot a RAW file, I can duplicate it in Lightroom or Capture One. Uh, but if you want, sometimes... Uh, the most ways I shoot with this is normally if I pick a film style, I shoot RAW and JPEG. I can shoot RAW and JPEG so that the JPEG has the film effect to it and I can actually go right away to uh, social media or something. It can interface with my iPhone if I want it to. Just, it's just really, really convenient. Also in here, I have a little Godex flash. Now, I'll be doing a review on this flash, as well as showing how this works later on. So this is the Godax flash. It's really small. It sits right on top. It's kind of a, a retro kind of flash, which works just fine with me. Uh, typically, the way I set it is so that uh, I can set the f-stop, and I'll set the flash power to the f-stop here. Flash goes out and comes back, so it's not a through-the-lens flash, but it's really tiny, compact, and for the times that I want to use a flash, it works just fine. So I want to encourage everybody to always have a camera with them. Take a camera with you wherever you go. 
Um, I've got charging cables and batteries. I can put a water bottle in here. I also have an air tag in here. Okay, so that, uh, and we'll have another story about air tags and how good they are. But if I have a problem or I lose uh, the bag or I misplace the bag, uh, it always tells me where I can find it. So these air tags are priceless. I've got probably uh, 16 air tags on all my gear and all my cases. Uh, especially when I ship packages or cases across the country, I can track them, and even with my baggage. But that's a whole other story. So anyway, I just want to encourage you, if you're interested in a really good camera that you can have with you all the time, lightweight, fast, easy to use, super sharp lens, then I highly recommend the Fuji X100V. It's the camera I have with me when I need it, and it all conveniently picks it in a pack like this. It sits on the back of my chair, hangs from the back of my chair in my office, and if I'm going out or something happens or we're going to a party, I just grab the bag and I know I've got everything with me. Anyway, this is Kevin Raber from PhotoPXL. And thanks for being with me on this daily chat. And I'll see you tomorrow.